continuing from where I left off in this tutorial I'm going to create my bookmark component which will be the individual bookmark element and also I'm going to fix this error where if you go directly to the root path then it gives you an error because we have not defined the default route so the first thing is we will work on our routes.ts file I will first add a default path and we will tell it to redirect to the listing which we are going to create in a bit alright so this is how we are going to work any person coming to the default route will be redirected to list bookmarks so let's quickly create the list bookmarks component rather the route which will be all right now obviously we have not created the bookmarks component so we'll quickly create that so we'll use the cli to generate our component all right let's quickly check that so inside source apps we have bookmarks and we have bookmarks component which is what we want so let's quickly import that so I'm in the main folder which is app.routes.php it's in the root so we'll go bookmarks slash right so we have imported it and so list bookmarks will load this component all right our page is regenerated and let's see yeah so we have automatically been redirected to the list bookmarks which is the new component which we have created if you see the HTML it says bookmark works right and so from now on if anyone goes to the root route it will load up the app and redirect here okay so the first problem was solved now the next thing which I'm going to do is create a service where I will fake some bookmarks the service is basically responsible for providing the data to the components and later on we can play around with the source of the service we can have JSON files we can do HTTP request and populate the data fine so the first thing is creating a service so inside our source app folder and inside bookmarks I'll create a file called bookmark service.ts now this is going to be injected so we need to import the injectable which is available in angular core all right so yeah this is the class which we are going to export and let's quickly uh, declare the bookmarks inside the constructor let's populate the data I'll have ID then we can have title and then we can have link all right so let's say what are the links that we want Amitav Roy blog this is HTTP okay the next ID 2 Hit a page. I will quickly copy that. Okay, and let's do all right. So we have this three 
um, what do you call um, objects in our bookmark array oh by the way I this is our constructor and let's create a method called get bookmarks and this is going to return its bookmarks all right um, Right, so nothing is breaking. I oh, anyways, I have not imported it, so um, we'll go inside our bookmarks component, which is this, and let's quickly import the service. Um, just wait and watch whether it is coming or not yeah so no errors which means the service is getting loaded now we need to do the listing right the very common task for any you know uh, application so let's go to our component the first thing which I need to do is because this is a service I'll need to define it in my providers this is basically a way of telling this particular component that you know uh, this is a service which is going to give me data I'll also declare a private variable called bookmarks where I will you know, keep all the bookmarks which I'm going to fetch from the service so that's done and then in in the constructor I'll define I will inject the service um, with that done what I can do is this dot bookmark service sorry bookmarks equals all right so this is how I'm going to get the bookmarks from the service into this particular component let's quickly just save save and check all right so the next thing is going to the HTML very quickly um, use the repeater and get the data so we'll use the bootstrap list group like angular one we used to do ng repeat here we will do ng4 equals we need to use something like let bookmark of bookmarks this is the variable from the component scope and I'll get what was it um, title right so bookmark dot title okay, that should do the trick let's quickly check that out right so we are getting it here so yeah um, nothing much let's quickly format that so I have I will have a div section in that and this is going to be an a tag where this is the title and so uh, we are already now keeping the links in our object so we can um, populate it here so we'll do bookmark dot link right and one thing which we haven't touched upon is a status let me quickly add some status to individual bookmarks um, just random I wanted to show you the if conditions in template that's the reason I'm doing it sorry yeah so status basically would mean something like you know the bookmark is still active I have not archived it something like that we can figure it out later but so yeah my object has a status so now um, in bootstrap we have a span where we can add badges so in that we'll use the if condition
All right. So what we, what I'm basically trying to say is that if my bookmark status is equals one, then it means it's active. And if it is zero, then it means I have archived it. So yeah, this is the list. Uh, okay. Um, one thing which I forgot, this should be underscore blank HTML 101. So that done. Yeah, we have the list. Click on it and I'm loading the bookmarked website. Right. So in this tutorial, what we have basically done is, you know, the component is, you know, interacting with the data which is available in its scope and the data is coming through a service which we have decoupled so the component doesn't know how the data is going to come the only thing which we are doing is we are injecting the bookmark service into our component and later on if we need to change the implementation of the service if you know obviously tomorrow i'm going to you know get the bookmarks from an http request so yeah i can just change the get bookmarks logic and you know the component is pretty much uh, you know doesn't really need to know what happened in the background so yeah that's about it that's how you know we create a component and the component talks to the service if you like the videos of this series do click on the thumbs up icon and share the videos on you know facebook or twitter and yeah don't forget to comment thanks